we got this great clip from one of our long content videos. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Enjoy. This is a big one, guys. You've heard it on this channel. If I've said it once, I've probably said it 10,000 times. As real estate investors, and especially as value add real estate investors, well, really, just as real estate investors in general, go see as much real estate as you possibly can. Go see everything inside of your buy box. Anything that ever comes up for sale, try to call on it. Try to find out what they're asking for it. Go to look at it and then make offers on a bunch of things as well. But the, the real big key here is that you will become an expert at real estate investing because of the sheer volume that you do. If you go and look at everything that's for sale inside of an area, you will very quickly know what things are selling for and know when you see the outliers. And what you're looking for as real estate investors is always the outliers. You want to look at 100 properties and buy the one that's the very best price or buy the four or five that are the very best price. And you're gonna make offers on maybe all of them, but you wanna get the outliers. The outliers are where the money's made. And number six, this one changed everything for us. So when we first started out as real estate investors, we were buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell, wholesale deals. I mean, we didn't have a lot of money. So we were trying to build a nest egg and it probably burned through five, six, seven, eight hundred houses before I started to do value add. So I was originally just a wholesaler. And then I became a buy, fix and sell guy for the next 2000 houses or so. So it wasn't until I was 2,500 houses in that I started keeping things. And guys, if I had anything to do over again, I love my life and, and things have really worked out. I praise the Lord for everything that he's done for us through this career that I've had as a value add real estate investor. If I had anything that I would change, I would early on start to try to fight like hell to keep some of these properties. If I had just kept one in 10 going back, I, I would have dozens and dozens, maybe hundreds and hundreds of pieces of real estate that are cash flowing. But I thought that I needed to get that money, that quick money. Quick money is good money, but quick money is not wealth building. It's the long money that becomes wealth building for you. So remember that cash flow is kind of king. Early on as a real estate investor, if you can think of it like this and say, I'm gonna buy three properties, I'm gonna fix all three of them up, I'm gonna sell two and I'm gonna keep one, and that's the way you start, man, what a life you're gonna have. If I could tell my younger self, Robbie at 27 years old, Robbie, fight like hell to keep one out of three or fight like hell to even keep one out of 10, holy cow, life would be so easy right now. It really would be. But I digress, guys. We keep a lot of real estate now. We like to own things for a really long period of time. We consider it a home run just about every time we have something that we've owned for five, six, eight, 10, 15 years. Anytime we do that, we can look back and we can see the cash flow that we've made. Usually the house has paid for itself two or three times. And then it's almost always in every situation except for that two year period of time from 2006 through like 2009 where things went down and if you had to sell stuff it could have been painful for you at that point but if you had just held on to stuff long enough real estate always trends upwards that's just the fact so developing this mindset early on in your investment thesis is a good mindset to have. Fight like hell to keep some properties. Go see every property that you can when you're starting out as a real estate investor and never stop seeing every property that you can. You never know when you're gonna find the next deal of a lifetime and you can't do it if you're not looking for them. If you're not looking for everything, if you don't have that knowledge, if you're not seeing all of the properties that come up in your buy box, then how are you gonna know when the very best one is there, that deal of a lifetime? And that's what we're looking for. We want to invest in you. I'm saying you and I'm, I'm calling it we. Want to invest in deal of a lifetime, grand slam home runs, things that are going to create generational wealth, things that are gonna throw off cash flows of 15, 20, 25, 30% annual returns. This is amazing real estate projects. And they're out there, guys. They're in every market in the USA. They're all over the island of Puerto Rico. And any one of you, any one of you can do this, guys. It doesn't take that much effort. It's not rocket science. You guys can do this. Anyone can do this. Just start looking at real estate like it's your job, even if it's not your job. Look at everything. Cash flow is how we build wealth, guys. So I said this before. I'm going to say it in the next video probably too. If you can buy real estate, get that sweet cash flow and live on that cash flow and then reinvest into the next and the next and own things for a really long period of time. This is the tried and proven way to build generational wealth. It's been going on since before my man Jesus Christ walked the earth and it's going to be going on long long after I'm gone. You guys, you want to own real estate for a really long time. You want to live off the cash flow. You want to 
expect to have appreciation and you will and just owning stuff for a really long time for the cash flow is how you build wealth all right guys i think that wraps it up thanks for watching hey guys thanks for watching that subscribe to our channel watch this next and then also check out the pin content for more great content guys god bless